Is this working? Is this on? Tap, tap, hello. First 10 seconds of the video, I'm gonna let you know right now that if you wanna follow your dreams and pursue them, you have to actually move. You can't sit still and wait for things to happen. But at the same time, it's absolutely okay to take a step back and just rest for a while. Your dreams aren't going anywhere. They can wait. Toonie the Tiger. I feel like every time I recorded Toonie the Tiger, I just feel fat. But I don't think that's any different than how I normally feel because I always just feel fat. Clarabelle. Ah, I called it. It's not loud anymore because I literally turned everything down. And by everything, I mean I had to take it and slide it all the way to the side so that the really loud sounding things sound normal and all the normal things are just just silent now. So now instead of Clarabelle going, Aah! she's just a whisper like, hi, it's... It's, it's mail time. But this obnoxious like button clicking noise. Oh, it's always so loud, always so loud. So my apologies if you can't hear the game, I don't care. It's, it's to save my own sanity. I would rather you not be able to hear the game than not be able to hear me. You know what I'm saying? I'm the important thing here, not Toontown, me. How's it going everybody? It's your pal Mega Snoop bringing you another Toontown video today. And today, I'm gonna try to figure out what I can do on Toonie the Tiger, because I know he's got stuff that he gotta do. Um, I don't know, it looks like he could definitely do like a mint or something. Maybe I try that, maybe we see if there's anybody here do a mint. I mean, he could like fight like seven cogs and be like, okay, I'm good, that's good. But like, what fun is that? You fought one cog on the street, you fought them all, you know what I'm saying? Like, the real fun is being able to go out and like experience things. Granted in Toontown, there's like, nine things to experience before you've done everything but let's milk those nine things over and over again until there's nothing left also i, I need to remember that i can sprint now look at me look at look at tony go he's sprinting tony to the 2021 olympics there's the start tony a good one and gaze right with him and sows us off a pal bailey's there too but here's tony charging to the front gaze coming but can't catch him you saying tony look at the time nine five he gonna bring home the gold, I'm telling ya. I'm telling ya. Toonie representing Toontown in uh, this year's Olympics. That is this year, right? Like 2021? I don't know if they've like already started that or not, you know? But I like, I feel like they have or at least should have by now, you know? But there's some people hanging around. We'll see, uh, we'll see what's going on. Maybe I can, ooh, invite. And now we play the waiting game. <laughs> But I feel like there's been so much that happens in between episodes and I want to apologize for like not uploading frequently but you know inspiration motivation determination exasperation condensation evaporation you know it all has to hit at a certain point where you need to be able to want to make a video or at least have something to make a video about. And even though it's been a month, I feel like nothing has happened, but I know if I sit here and I really think, and I think, 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 I'm sure I could probably come up with something to talk about. And there's probably been like a handful and a half of stuff that's happened. And I just haven't really paid attention to be fair. Why did we all spawn in the air? That was weird. But the funny thing is, the reason why this even came to my mind, that whole idea of like, hey, maybe I should record Tune of the Tiger episode, even though I physically have nothing to say and I'll just figure it out like I usually do, is because I was watching Quackity the other night, of all people, right? That guy still doing streams and making videos. Not as frequently because he's been really focused on doing like law school. Very proud of that guy for doing that. But he actually hopped on Toontown in like the middle of the night and he was just dicking around and having a good time doing like bosses and, and stuff like that. And he was talking about like motivation and sound misses. And I love this game. It's such a good game. What a good game. I'm so glad I decided to do this today. What a good game. But he was talking about motivation and people were asking him like, how do you stay motivated to continue streaming and making content? And he just looks at them and he goes, I don't like at all. Like, have you looked at my YouTube and my Twitch like the past however long? No matter how big you get, you could be somebody with a hundred followers or somebody with 10 million. You know, are you getting three viewers or are you getting 150,000, right? Like it doesn't matter how many viewers you get. You, you really want to tell yourself that it does, but it doesn't because no matter what, it still comes down to whether or not you want to do it. Knowing that people are going to be there watching doesn't necessarily change the fact that you don't want to do it. And he goes on to say, he's like, sometimes, you know, this, this still is kind of like work. It still is a job and it can be a chore. And he's all like, listen, if I want to stay consistent and continue doing what I'm doing, 
I have to force myself to do it sometimes. I have to sit down and be like, even if I'm not feeling like doing it, I need to do it because it's still work. I mean, I can't tell you how much I related to that where I was all like, man, there's so many times where it's like, I don't feel like streaming and I don't have a video that I want to make. There, there's like always a video I can make. I see it all the time in my comment sections. There's always somebody that's all like, hey, you can make a video on this. Hey, you can make a video on that. Hey, you can make a video on this. And I'm like, yeah, I can. Do I want to? Because that involves like, recording and editing and getting a script and and doing some research and making sure that i can get the right footage for it and you know all around effort and it's like if it's not something i'm truly passionate about or something that i want to share i don't want to do it heck there are things that i do want to do that i make myself do so i write them down on the board and i'm like i'm gonna do this and then it takes me three weeks but i eventually do it but it takes me like three weeks. But as you can see, the board is mostly empty. I did everything on my to-do list, uh, except for this is like long, the, the stuff down here is like long-term stuff. This is not stuff I could do this very second, right? Doesn't make sense to. But motivation comes and goes, and when it does come, take advantage of it. I know there's a lot of people that kind of feel that dread when they finally do feel motivation, but it's like at midnight and they're like, I have to go to bed. Honestly, I would say take the time. When you have the motivation, take the time. I think there was a Toonie the Tiger episode that I recorded at like 11 p.m. because that's when I felt like doing it. I was like, I finally feel motivated. This is what I wanna do. This is when I wanna do it. Let's record a Toonie the Tiger episode at like 11 p.m. And sometimes that's that's what you gotta do. You gotta, you gotta take advantage of that motivation because if you decide to ignore it, it might go away and who knows when it's gonna come back, right? But on the other hand, if you know it's something that you gotta do, right? If I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna try to make Twitch and YouTube a full-time income for me, and I'm going to be able to use that to be able to pay my rent, pay my bills, pay for food, and even help out those around me, I need to be able to act like it and get off my butt and do it even if I'm not necessarily feeling like doing it. You know what I mean? Because we are trying to move and we're trying to expand and we're trying to get more people down here. Noah wants his girlfriend to move in and there's no way they're all gonna fit everything that they have in that tiny little closet. So we're gonna need extra space. We're trying to move, we're trying to get a bigger location. And we can't do that if I'm not getting income and having money and showing people that like, look, I have money, let's this let's allow me to move in. Doing this while sprinting is difficult. I'm telling you it is. It's it's awful. It's it's bad. I, th I think you just don't sprint unless they get like a, a, a specific sprint button. Like trying to double tap W as you're coming out of that, it, oh, it's just not gonna work. It's not happening. So man, I'm just saying no matter how many followers, subscribers, viewers you get, if you're gonna treat it like a job, you gotta actually make it look like a job. You know what I'm saying? But with all this being said, there is still one more really important point to make, and that is your mental health. All of that success, all of that motivation, all of that work and effort you put in to get where you are means nothing if you're actually hurting yourself doing it. So again, sometimes you do need to sit down and make yourself do things, but it's also okay to lean back a little bit and make sure that you're taking time for yourself and your mental health. And that's kind of what I've been doing recently. Then again, I've also taken like the past two to three weeks to do that. And I feel like I've probably been doing that for a little too long. I think I'm feeling all right, all things considered. I think it's time for me to get back to it. Really sit down, work on some videos, do my two daily streams, make sure that I'm good to go. That way when the time comes that I need to move or I need to focus on something else, it doesn't feel like I'm taking too much time away when I decide to take a step back and be like, I'm gonna focus on this for a bit but I'll be right back, you know? But what else has been happening lately as of, uh, it's almost mid-July at the time I'm recording this. I think I'm gonna try to shoot for this to be uploaded on Sunday the 18th, which is inadvertently my birthday. Happy birthday, me. <laughs> yeah. The irony of that is that the second episode of Toonie the Tiger, now that we're like 80 in or something like that, the second episode was actually recorded and uploaded on my birthday six years ago in 2015. To see all of the changes and everything that's on, undergone then has is, is been crazy. But I was watching Bo Burnham's special on Netflix uh, last night, and he had a song in there about how he was turning 30, and he was in his underwear, and I feel that. But he was talking about how he's just turning 30 and he's like, there's so much I wanted to do before I turned 30 and now I'm old and now I don't understand what the Zoomers are talking about. And I'm like, I get that, I feel that. And I'm not even turning 30, I'm turning 27, which still feels old. And on one hand, you're like, man, you're 27 and you're still playing Toontown. You're still like the Toontown guy doing Toontown content at 27 years old. Bro, you're however old making fun of a 27 year old still playing Toontown. I ain't hurting nobody. Man, focus on your own life. 
And if your life is so great, why do you feel the need to go out and make fun of 27 year olds still playing Toontown? You know what I'm saying? But I digress. I don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. All I know is that I feel a little bit old, but that's okay because your 20s are still your time to be able to take your life and decide what it's going to be, right? You can still figure out what it is that you wanna be. You don't have to have your whole life decided at 18. You don't have to have your whole life decided at 21. You don't have to have your whole life decided at 25. You don't have to have your whole life decided at 30. Some people will tell you that you need to, but that's, that's not true. That's not the case at all. Why did I think this guy's name was Big Flippy? I swear like a second ago it said Big Flippy. I think I'm going crazy. Definitely going crazy. Tony, how close are you to finishing these? Not at all? Sounds good. Thanks. Man, even getting to where I am now, I've had so many life experiences that I know that I could probably jump into doing something else if I wanted to. I have it on my resume that I work logistics for PlayStation Direct. They're, uh actual Sony website where they sold the PlayStation 5 and I was a part of that launch. I worked that website when the PlayStation 5 launched and let me tell you, that was a nightmare. And is there anyone here? Uh, oh, there is. Oh, that's a good looking group so far. So I worked logistics for PlayStation Direct and then I also worked as a social media analyst for Sony PlayStation. And having those things on my resume looks pretty darn good. Like then I, I could basically reach out to a lot of gaming companies now and be like, look what I did, look what I can do for you. And when the time comes that it's time for me to do that, I can probably do that and I won't have to feel too bad about it. I can't tell you guys how truly blessed I am to just still be able to do what I'm doing now where I can sit here and play video games. I throw some Toontown content at you, and that's been just enough where I can also go and enjoy other games as well. When a new video game comes out like Ratchet and Clank, I can just do an all day stream playing through that and sharing my thoughts and sharing that experience with you guys on that. And maybe play Valorant with my friends and just stream that for a little bit and know that some people are watching that. And then go back and mix in the Toontown again. And I don't know, it's, it's just nice to know. It kind of reminds me of like Pro ZD a little bit, right? He has a very mixed bag of what kind of videos he uploads. He does videos where they're short, quirky little skit videos, and those do extremely well. And because of how well those do, he can then make other videos that he wants to make, like board game reviews, and let's try 16 different types of Ruffles chips. Some of those even do well as well, you never know. Heck man, Toontown was doing well enough for me where I decided to do some Fortnite videos, and uh, now those are a couple of my most viewed videos on the whole uh, gosh darn channel. I don't know if that's enough. Oh, that's definitely not not enough. Ah, they live. Ah, this isn't Clash. Ah, but in the same way that ProZD can kind of get away with like doing the skit videos, which allow him to do other things, I still do my Toontown videos, my Toontown streams, which means I can also do other things like, you know, like I said, play Valorant or play Fortnite with friends and stuff like that and have a good time. Reminds me, I think there was a Fortnite game I had the other day that I wanted to save where like we got a combined like 30 kills in our squad, which was just nuts. I need to go back and save that. That was pretty good. But anyway, once again, I digress. I apologize. But again, thank you guys just so much for what you do. It can be tough sometimes because as a content creator, a lot of your income does kind of come from the generosity and support of your viewership, right? Like this only continues to happen because people watch these videos, go through the ads, leave likes, watch the streams, subscribe on Twitch, give like $5 here or there that all adds up by the end of the month. And as someone who does content creation, you're essentially just selling your personality. You sell your content for sure. But when you're doing something like being a Twitch streamer, there isn't always something big and brand new to do every day. And that's something I struggle with, right? Is that there's certain gimmicks you can do here and there, like the uh, the Toontown speedruns, those have been great. We just recently did the Berg and it's gonna take like four days for that to process on YouTube because of copyright and I'm trying to weed out. It's a really complicated process. Don't worry about it. The speedruns can only last for so long and I can't do them every single day. So when I'm not, I'm just hanging out, you know? I'm just playing Toontown and I'm, I already maxed my tunes on both games. So really I'm just like, hey guys, let's just fight some cogs and do some bosses and maybe work on a second tune. And it's not as exciting as it was the first time around, but that doesn't mean we're not still trying to have a good time. And at that point you are trying to kind of sell your personality or sell your community, sell the, 
the conversations that you're having. And that can be really tough because I always saw myself as somebody who's like, I hate everything that comes out of my mouth. It's awful. Sometimes it can come off as really condescending or sometimes it comes off as really boring. You know, you can't be funny always, but it does really make me happy that some people still find value in that. And it's literally the fact that you guys still find value in that that allows me to keep doing what I'm doing. So sincerely from the bottom of my heart, thank you. All right, enough of that sappy stuff. Should we do, sh should we talk about something fun? Maybe? What's been going on in the world? I saw the Black Widow movie um, the other day. That wasn't too bad, right? I ended up seeing some reviews for it where like somebody called it like the best Marvel movie to date. And I'm like, nah, <laughs> no, it's not. It was decent. I liked it. I don't know if I'd watch it again, but it was decent. Like there's some Marvel movies that I have watched again. Like, most of the Captain Americas, the first Iron Man, two or three of the Avengers movies. But like, Black Widow, would I watch that one again? Probably not. But it got me thinking about some of the other movies I used to watch and like, try to give a first impression of and not always having like the understanding of what really makes a movie really really good. Because I remember, I think it was a while ago, um, old friend Brian and I went to see like the 2016 Ghostbusters, the one with all the women in it. And, and it, it wasn't that great, not because of the women, but because it was just poorly written and they were using the women as gimmicks as opposed to actually giving them personality. I think we did a review on it and we we're like, this was a really good movie. Oh, oh, oh. I think that's still up on the channel. If it is, I'm going to go like private it right now because, oh gosh, that was not a good video. There's a lot of old videos I have where they just weren't good videos and I don't know why I uh, leave them up sometimes, especially since I know that they're not still getting views. And there it is, I see it, July 18th, 2016. That was uploaded on my birthday? Wow, a lot of a lot of anniversaries. That one got a lot of dislikes too. Yeah, you know what? I think at this point, I just delete it. What do you think? Just just completely delete it? That sounds like a good idea. It's gone. Uh, the other thing that comes up when I search Ghostbusters is my Freddy Fish 2 playthrough. That's a great video. You should go watch that. Can't believe I've made over a thousand videos on this channel though. And if you're watching this one, thank you for being a part of it. Woo! <laughs> I think there was a point in time where I felt like really bad about all the videos that I had and how cringy some of them were and how I knew some of them weren't getting views and I was like, why do I still like try so hard? And I tried to go through and like private all the videos that I knew were either irrelevant, nobody really wanted to watch, uh, was Fortnite. Um, and I went through and I privated like a couple hundred videos and then w one of my friends, he's like, what happened to that one Call of Duty video that you made? I'm like, the one that got 200 views and is half dislikes? He's like, yeah, that one! I was like, I privated it, why? And he's like, bro, I loved that video. And I was like, you love that video? And he's like, yeah, I love that video. So I privated that one, and then I realized how stupid I was being privating all those videos, so I privated them all. I don't know, sometimes you go through a phase, it's just normal, it's human, to just kind of doubt yourself like that. Listen, I do it all the time. I'm working on it though, but that doesn't mean I wasn't cringy back then. There's some videos I made that I forgot that I made them. I remember there was one called like the Toon Avengers that I made back when like the first Avengers Infinity War came out, right? And man, that one was, I wouldn't watch it again. I mean, you can go watch it if you want, but I wouldn't watch it again. Oh man, I can't believe I even made that video. But you go back far enough, there's a lot of these videos that I made that were just like kind of funny, funny ha-has for the time. There's a lot of videos I uploaded that aren't even relevant anymore, right? There was like a video where I made about Corporate Clash coming out and the difference between that and Rewritten, which is like almost obsolete now because both games have changed so much since then. There's the video about Corporate Clash one month later, does it still Still hold up again kind of obsolete now because corporate clash has changed so much since then heck the video that i most recently made about them purging all the mega snoops is about to become obsolete as well because i believe that they're going to allow mega snoops to be made again they watched the video they were like yeah maybe we shouldn't have done that and then they uh decided to change that so that's good i'm happy about that but will I delete or private that video? Probably not. Maybe I'll leave like a comment and like pin it being all like, this video is now obsolete. They changed their minds, but it's still made for a good video at the time and it's still entertaining to watch, right? I think YouTube is just full of like videos that become obsolete so quickly. And to be fair, for a general video like this one, most of the views come within the first 48 hours of it being uploaded. And then in anything after that is kind of a trickle as time goes on. So everything that I'm talking about is relevant for the weekend of July 18th. Will it be relevant in a week from now? Who knows? So that's content creation for you. Actually, that's just the internet for you. Why do you think Twitter 
thrives so well on what it does. You could have tweets from like five, six years ago that are just not relevant anymore. Heck, tweets from last week aren't relevant anymore. Why do you think a tweet that you made last week doesn't get any more likes usually? Because you've made like 20 different tweets since then, generally. Usually a tweet of mine will stop getting attention within two days because that's how so much more content is being pushed your way and just pushes it to the bottom that there is nothing else that, you know, it becomes irrelevant. The world is constantly changing. The internet's constantly moving forward. There's all this junk being thrown in your face. I love it. I live on the internet. Man, I think all I've done is rant lately. I haven't even like told any stories. All I've done is rant. Thank you guys for listening to me rant. This was a very unfiltered, unscripted, unguidelined video of Toonie the Tiger where I was just like, I'm just gonna wing it and rant. And that's just what I've done. So thank you for your patience through that. But man, July is expected to be a very, very busy month for me. August also expected to be a very, very busy month for me. Honestly, I can't wait until September because by September, things should have calmed down. It's gonna get cooler. It's not as hot in Vegas anymore. Football starts. Oh God, I can't wait for football to start again. And I've always loved summer, don't get me wrong, but like, I'm just ready to not have anxiety and ready to not be stressed and just be able to relax and do my thing for a while, you know? I'm ready to just kind of exist and trust that things are gonna work out. Cause right now I have to work really hard with everything I'm doing to make sure everything works out. Right now there are no guarantees and I gotta really work at it and push myself. And that's really hard when your mental health is a little low and your motivation is gone. But when you know what's at stake and you know it's something that you have to do, that alone helps you push just a little bit harder to get where you need to go. Pray for me guys, it's gonna be a rough like month and a half from here on out but I want you guys to know that I'm working hard for you and that I'm really hoping that everything works out here. I'm already in such a great position in life, I wouldn't wanna trade this for anything in the world, you know? Not just being a content creator, but having the friends I have and being in the situations that I am. I'm just really happy to be here, you know? And I don't wanna take that for granted. That's some real talk. But outside of that, I genuinely can't really come up with too much more to say. I know that a lot happened recently, but I think that's one of the problems I've been having like on stream because when there isn't anything exciting happening on Toontown, it becomes a just chatting stream. And when I have nothing to chat about, it becomes tough. I think the last time I streamed before recording this video, I was doing the Berg speed run on TTCC. And that was a lot of fun because it was always like something's going, something's happening, let's coordinate this, let's do that, let's go over there, be able to get that person set up, got to teleport here, guys, we need this cog, you know, always going. And then I stopped the speed run and I was like, good job, guys, now let's just hang out for an hour. Just didn't have a whole lot to say. That can be tough sometimes. Maybe I need to get better at talking again. Maybe that's what I need to do. I guess another thing I've been working on is writing. So we did just come out with Gag Shop. I haven't even talked about that because last time that I made a Toonie the Tiger episode was before we released Gag Shop, but... Gag Shop's been released. It's doing all right. Got a lot of views the first day. It still gets some views here and there. It's on Spotify, which is big, like the last one. The last one, I think I had like a download on a website that I no longer have an account for, so it can't be downloaded anymore. But I was like, hey, if you wanna listen to this anytime you want, download the MP3 onto your computer, which was kinda stupid. But now it's on Spotify, so if you wanna listen to it, it's on Spotify. I have a couple other songs on Spotify as well, but trust me, they're not as important. But because I do have that kind of gateway to Spotify, I've already written five songs that I wanna work with my roommate Noah on to be able to release those on Spotify as well. And I think that could be a lot of fun. And I don't expect it to go anywhere and I don't expect to become like the next Eminem or Logic or anything like that, right? Like I'm not, I'm not gonna get anywhere with that, but I think it could be a lot of fun and it's a good way for me to kind of get all of this stress and all of this anxiety out of my head and off of my chest and uh, hey, if it does lead somewhere, that's even better. But then once we're done with all of that, we're gonna start working on Zap God. So that's one of the things on the list over here that I was pointing at earlier was, was Zap God. And that shouldn't be too hard to write because it's just like, hey, let's find things in Toontown that rhyme. Rhyme trolley with Molly with Bolly with Holly like Hollywood, ride on the trolley, then we're knock out a few Hollies, right? Like that, dude, that could, actually I should write that down. But again, that also is something that I need to just sit down and do, right? It's something that I need to work on. It's something that even if I don't feel like doing it, I need to sit down and do it. And I think that's really important to know and to distinguish, right? But I feel really good about it so far. And I think, uh, I think 
I wouldn't say it could do well, but it could definitely do okay, because I don't think it sucks. And knowing what Noah can do, he made the new gag shop sound incredible. And I've gotten like a lot better with my lyric writing. Like in the new gag shop, I had like a whole new verse that I wrote myself. I just sat down and I was all like, what could be fun? Didn't even have to mean anything. I just wanted it to be fun. And I think that turned out to be really, really good too. And it can showcase what I can do if I'm free to write whatever I want and have that like creative expression as opposed to just, you know, going by a parody, something that's already outlined and I just need to replace a few words. You know, there's like some hidden meaning in there, right? Like I thought some of the lines were good, like so much oil everywhere you think we're at a truck stop because you think of like, how the cogs drink oil and how it's always referenced in game that you need to like recover oil from the cogs. I think that's one of the tasks in Toontown Central is recover oil. I think canonly the thing that the cogs drink in like Boss Bot HQ is oil. So, so much oil everywhere you think we're at a truck stop and that rhymes with gag shop. More robots than the chop shop, which I thought was a really, 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 really oddball reference. But if anyone's seen robots from, gosh, what year did robots come out? Hey Google. What year did the movie Robots come out? In the United States of America, Robots was released on March 11, 2005. In the 2005 hit movie Robots from DreamWorks, there is a place called the Chop Shop where it's flooded with robots and robot parts and all the robots that get like torn down or get outmoded or thrown to the chop shop. So chop shop rhymes with gag shop. I thought that would be fun. You know, I mean, it's still shop, right? Chop shop, but it's still fun. So when I get the ability to just think creatively and do whatever it is that I want to do, I get a lot better time and I feel better about what I'm writing in that case, you know? But I think that's all I have to say for right now. Um, it's just a little bit of a shorter episode. Two needed just a couple things, but he's closing in on some of these. He's less than 100 away from that one and, you know, a little over 100 away from that one, but he's getting there. And then once he's done with these, it's it really is the home stretch of tasks, you know? He's, he's coming a long way, and if I do keep these a little bit shorter, it means I can pump out a few more of them. So I think that's good news for you guys, too. Otherwise, this was really an unstructured video. I just wanted to sit here and ramble and rant, and I appreciate you guys listening. Uh, you can leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. I don't know if any of you guys are content creators or even just struggling with motivation like I've been. But if you are, I'd love to hear your stories as well. Thank you guys for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoy. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay awesome. God bless and peace. Say bye, Toonie. That's very nice of you to say, Toonie. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. Look at the time, 958 world record.